Fleet Week is in town now, and if you see words in the sky, it's likely the work of the Gyro, Gy, rather, Gyco, Gyco, rather, Sky Typers. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison went up with him today, and he brings us a preview from the sky. The Geico Sky Typers are in town getting ready for a show in Baltimore, and I had a chance to go up with them. These are the famous T-6 trainers. This type of aircraft was built in the 1940s. All the pilots in World War II had to go through this advanced trainer before they moved on to the P-51 Mustangs, Corsairs, B-17s, B-25. They all had to do their gunnery work and their aerobatic work in these aircraft. And speaking of aerobatic work, my pilot, Steve Salmiers, at my request, was up for a little fun. These Geico Sky Typers work as a group of six. Sky writing is just one plane making letters. Using six planes letting out smoke all at once, they can make letters a thousand feet high and they can be seen from 15 miles away. And then in the lead ship, I have a uh, tablet that sits on my knee and I can uh, create messages, program, move airplanes around and run messages. After blowing off some smoke, it was time for a little more shenanigans. Samir flies for a major airline now, but he can appreciate what the pilot did in these aircraft before they went into battle. But back then they had this airplane, they had a little needle that pointed to the ship. They were in weather, they had no radar to speak of, they had no big communications to speak of, and they put themselves in harm's way all the time, then had to find their way home. Back then the, the men of that generation, in my mind, are, are our heroes, and that's why we're here today. The Geico Sky Typers do about 15 shows a year. We're lucky enough to catch them this weekend at the Inner Harbor, Saturday and Sunday. They'll be flying at 1.30 at Martin State Airport. I'm Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News. All right.